In this video, we're going to go over some of the basic features of Microsoft Link 2010 and uh, how they enable you to communicate with your coworkers. Once you have Microsoft Link 2010 open, go ahead and log in with the username and password that you've been provided with. The sign-in address will typically always be the same as your username. You click Sign In. Here's your main window. You notice that your name will be here and it'll show your status, in this case green meaning available. If you want to manually change your presence setting, you can do so here, to busy, do not disturb, etc. etc. If you're away from your machine from even even a short amount of time, your status will automatically go to away. Uh, but again, you know, if you're going to be in a meeting or some uh, other area, you can change the presence uh, accordingly. Right now we have no one to chat with, so we want to add contacts. Making sure contacts is clicked, you can do find a contact and you can search by name or email address. There's demo 2. Mouse over it and if you click the plus button, you will add to contacts. Right now we'll just add to all contacts. Notice here that Digirati Link Demo 2 is available, noted by the green presence color. Demo 3 presence is unknown, or they could also be offline, so they have a gray or clear uh, uh, presence color indicator. Again, if you mouse over, you'll see you have some functions you can use for each user. Once you have your contacts added, you may want to sort them into groups, uh, which you can do by going to All Contacts, right clicking, doing Create New Group create a sales group and then you can add contacts we'll just add Mr. Demo 3 here by right clicking and move contact to and you'll see your list of groups here right here we just have sales so we'll add to sales to start a chat you can double click on the contact alternately you can right click and do send an instant message we'll do the same thing Type whatever you want to say. Press enter. And the user will write you back. One cool thing you can do in Link is share your screen with another user. And to do this, you go to Share, hit the des uh, desktop, uh, you can share a number of things, in this case we want to do desktop. So it will prompt you that other people will be able to see your screen, yes that's fine. And you may notice that uh, there is a, a uh, toolbar up here and a sort of a yellow rim around the screen. Um, you see currently sharing, if you need to give control to the other user, you can do that, you can do that here so that they're able to control the screen. If you want to take back control, you can press Control alt space So now you can work collabor collaboratively on your machine, showing them whatever you have on your desktop. And I've taken back control. Stop sharing, you can click stop sharing up here. And then I'll remove the sharing uh, bar up here, and the yellow rim from around your screen will be gone. And of course, to close the chat window, you can just click the red X. Note if you can, uh, you can do a group chat if you want by uh, doing a control or a shift to select multiple uh, contacts, right click instant message and you notice that we're all in the chat right now. 
And again, you can share and do all the same things you did in the previous chat. One other cool thing you can do is if you mouse over the contact, again, you'll see some items here. You can click here to send an email to this user. This error says we don't have a client configured, but if you have Microsoft Outlook configured, a Microsoft Outlook new mail window will come up and you can simply send an email to the user rather than an IM. You now know the basics of Link and can get started IMing your coworkers and contacts. If you have issues, please contact our support desk using the information provided. Thank you.